Hi, I'm Phil Bedford, and wherever you are in the world, welcome to the Rebel Networker. A lot of people involved in networking and referral marketing tend to take a very reactive stance to networking. They tend to wait for opportunities to come. But there's nothing to stop us actually going out and getting that dream client. The trouble is we don't often know where to start or even who knows them. One of the opportunities we need to realize is each person we know can know between 250 and a couple of thousand people. But we don't know who they know unless we ask. Now I've got a great example of this. A number of years ago I was helping to build a, a, a referral networking group called BNI. And one of the ladies in the group actually stood up and said, Do you know what, I've been trying to get an introduction to company X. And I've been trying for years, but I can't find any way in, and I don't know anybody who, who knows a way in. The guy next to her turned around to her and said, why did you never ask? He was at my wedding, and I know him really well. It was her brother who knew the guy, but she'd never asked. A lot of the people we know will have access to these clients. We just need to engage our ask. Another way is to actually look at it online. We've got this great tool these days called LinkedIn. And LinkedIn will actually show you who you know who's connected to the people you need to know. So if you want an introduction to somebody, search the name and it will show you who you know who's connected to that individual. You can then build the relationships with the necessary people, take them offline, and when it's appropriate, ask for an introduction. I emphasize when it's appropriate. Because you need to build the relationships first, because you're asking them to trust you. And this week on uh, Ask Dr. Phil, I've had a question from John in the Philippines. And John's been doing some work on referral marketing by, by reading books. And he's been saying, do you know what, Phil? I'm actually in real estate, and I've been setting up referral sources with mortgage brokers. Now, I thought this is what I was supposed to do, but I'm finding other mortgage brokers are already talking to them. Well, you know what, John? You've done the right thing, which is think about where your referral sources are going to come from. The challenge is... A lot of people who have the same kind of knowledge will also go to those same sources, which means you're all fighting for referrals from the same source. We need to be thinking outside the box here and look at other referral sources that are not obvious. Quite often, they're pipeline or what we call pre-looking referral sources before people even need to know or know they need your service. So, for example, if you're selling houses, have you ever thought of a jeweler? Most people will not even think that a jeweler at some point in time will sell, will sell engagement rings. When people get engaged, they look for a house. So it's thinking out of the box and thinking about who else will have access to your client. So that's this week's show and I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, if you enjoy these... You can get them regularly with no effort at all. Just sign up in the box here on the right-hand side and we'll send them to you so you don't have to do any work. We'll see you next week. <laughs>